My name's Dan Atfield and I studied PGCE Economics with Business Studies and I'm now teaching at Hereford Cathedral School. I picked the PGCE in uh, Economics and Business because that's where my passion was. Um, I'd studied Economics for GCSE, A-Level and Degree and I just absolutely loved it. That's where my passion was, that's where I wanted to inspire like I got inspired by my teacher. So the year starts off in September and you start with a month at un university where you're in lectures and tu tutorials, um, gain gaining that knowledge. So it's a really nice, almost organic pro process because the, you get the core skills of the learning theories to begin with and then they just add bits on at certain times so at no point did you ever feel that you were being swamped. Your year consists of two placements, one in the autumn, so normally you'd start in October, and then you'll come back maybe two weeks after, and then another two, two weeks after that you'll come back to review what, what you've learnt, and it's a very re reflective process, so you'll go in and try something, and then two weeks later you'll come in and talk with your peers and reflect on what you've done and what they've done, what you've done well, what you can share with them, what they've done well, and you can share with that. So that takes you up until um, Christmas, then you're back at un university for another month, once again lectures and tutorials, and then it's your big second placement, and that's from the end of January all the way through to June. When you start off on your placement, it feels very daunting and very scary, because you're there in front of maybe up to 30, 30 children expecting you to teach. But on that placement, the staff know exactly what you're going through because they've been through it and the staff at the, um, at the schools that you go into for your placement, they're very helpful, very um, willing to give you ideas and ways of working because they're there, they can see how you teach and they can see where you need to, to get to. Um, throughout that process you'll have assignments to, to, to do, so these can be anything from 1500 word assignments up to 3000 word assignments so it, we had four that we had to do and then at the end you'll then complete that with a um, research paper where you can research any aspects of um, teaching that you'd like and you think your school and your own development would benefit from. Groups that we worked in for my course, the economics with, with business, there was um, five of us so that was a really nice small group and it meant it was very uh, friendly and everybody knew each other and even now we're still emailing everybody every two weeks to see how we're getting on so it's that really nice friend, 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 friendly atmosphere. One thing that I found most useful and most beneficial and what I found the best aspect of coming to Worcester Uni was the staff and the support that they give you. There's a real real willingness to help and develop you and make you become the best stu student you can. At Worcester, one of the key benefits that I was able to um, get was the fact they run um, pathways. So what this gives you is an extra little bit of knowledge and an extra skill to add, add to your bow. For me, it gave me the knowledge of the most up-to-date ways of working and how to use technology in, in a lesson. That technology enhanced pathway not only benefited me as a teacher, but I like to think it's now helping my school that I've now gone, gone into. For me, a lot of self-confidence came, came through from um, doing this PGCE and my ability to um, talk in front of large, large groups. I think the most rewarding part of doing my PGCE was to realise that even though I'd always wanted to be a teacher, the fact is I've now got the skills and I've now got the ability to be a teacher. So it's almost the fact that I can do my dream, my dream job. I can wake up excited about going to work and being able to just enjoy my job and really get that sense, sense of excitement. 